Okay, let's try one more. So let's say, just for purposes of this problem, that at a certain age, people start to shrink. And before I start to shrink, I'm two meters tall. Let's come up with an exponential equation so I can find out how tall I'll be after I start to shrink. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Get that general equation up here. Good, 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 good. All right, the first number is the easy part. You know that's the starting point. So how tall am I before I start to shrink? At the, at the beginning of shrinking, how tall am I? Am? How tall am I? Am? <laughs> two. Good. That's exactly right. I'm two meters tall before I start to shrink. Now let's talk about that shrinking. Now we said to grow a percentage, we would add that percentage to 100 to get over 100 to grow. Now you think it's the same for shrinking? Yes, yeah, the same for shrinking. So if I take 5% away, how many percent does that leave me? Hmm. 95%, but remember, no percentages in here, only decimals. So instead of thinking about 5% and then subtracting that from the total, take 5% away from 100, that leaves us with 95%. And if I want to take 5% off of something, it's the same as finding 95% of something. Yeah, exactly right. Let's save ourselves some work, man. 95% as a decimal. Yeah, and isn't that what I'm going to multiply by each time? I multiply by 0.95 to find out what the smaller amount is. Then I multiply by 0.95 again to take 5% off again. Then I multiply by 0.95 again. Sounds like my rate of change, and it should go right. Good, 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 good. Let's, refresh, let's review real quick what this means. I started out at 2 meters tall, and then I every year, I'm 95% of that. Yeah, 5% goes away. So 100% minus 5% is 95%. So that's how much I have remaining. That's what I will multiply by to find out how much is left. Yeah. And so after one year, two years, three years, let's say, oof, let's say 10 years, right? 10 years after I start shrinking, how tall will I be? Where would I put that 10? Mm -hmm. Exactly right. Exactly right. Let's do some math. Don't forget exponents first. Do the exponent first. Good. Now, I'm going to take that result. Now, it was a much longer number. And if you're dealing with calculators, it wouldn't round that off. Just take that big, long number and multiply it by two and then round your final answer off. Anyway, let's figure this out. Last step. There you go. 1.2 meters? Dang. Just chipping away 5% 10 times brings you all the way down there. Wow. Oh, listen. Guys, I hope this helped, man. Let me know if I can do anything else to help you out. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.